Well, Senator Karen Kaiser said she proposed the legislation after she was approached by a salon owner who felt the tax structure wasn't fair. Well, today we heard from several in the beauty industry who said they already pay a lot in taxes and they're worried these changes could put some out of business. This Queen Anne salon would normally be closed on a Sunday afternoon, but step inside today and you wouldn't get a cut in color. A booth renter will have me as an owner take in all the income and then 1099 them and pay them through the 1099. Instead, it was talk of business, taxes, and strategy. As a result of that situation, you're getting. I would have to pay the B&O tax on a, her, on, a, on a booth renter. Salon owners, stylists, and supporters gathered to prepare for Monday's hearing about a bill that could impact the tax structure for stylists who choose to be independent. And that we're we're barely covering our overhead. And I think it's a bis misconception that just because you get your hair cut, you're, you're, you're doing great. But the truth is, we're taxed so heavily, it's, it's very hard to survive in Washington state with the taxes that we pay. Salon owner Jamie O'Neill said it's been tough sorting out exactly what the legislation would do. But she doesn't think it will impact the stylists who work out of her location because they pay all the taxes outlined in the bill. Still, she's concerned it could hurt other small businesses. The hair industry is probably the leading female dominated industry and it's our chance to sort of become financially independent and I feel like this bill is taking that away from us. Senator Karen Kaiser proposed the bill and said they're not trying to ruin anyone's livelihood. Any stylist that's playing by the rules and paying their taxes and maintaining their licenses will have no impact. She said the legislation is part of a look into the industry and not a final decision. There are um, underground economies in several industries and we understand that and we're working with that. Stylists worry it would force some people back into jobs at corporate salons where they take home only a small percentage of what is charged for their work. I've worked in chain salons before. They do serve a purpose. It's great for some people, but um, when my, so my son was sick, um, I wasn't able to stay home with him because they would consider it shift abandonment. And some real strong feelings on this issue. Now, tomorrow that hearing is set for 10 a.m. The committee is expected to hear from that original salon owner who complained and dozens of stylists from around the state who say they will be there as well. In the newsroom, Amy Marino, King 5 News.